Hey there, I just wanted to walk you through a really quick tutorial of the Anchor platform, which is what we're going to use to record our class podcast for module number five. So when you log in using the credentials that I provided you in the assignment, the first thing you're going to do is click on new episode. And when you do this, you will go to the page where you can actually create your own episode of our collective class podcast. So I have just a couple minutes ago here uploaded an audio file, and I do that by just clicking on new recording. So once you do that, it, it will use the audio from your computer or your phone, um, either one. As long as you have a microphone on your computer, you can record it right from, from your desktop, or you can do it from your phone, which is also a pretty easy option. You click on new recording, and then you click start recording, and um, you can upload your audio that way. Once you've actually uploaded it to the right hand side here, that saves it as an audio file. The column over here on the right hand side, um, sorry, the audio files are on the left. On the right hand side is where your actual episode will, um, you'll be able to build it right there. So once you have an audio file over here on the left that you want to use in your podcast episode, you just, you can just drag it over. Um, and this then shows what is in your actual podcast episode, and you'll be able to um, drag and drop audio here as well as any transitions. So if you wanted to um, just, you can listen to them, obviously, and I've, and I've outlined some that I'd like to use because really the best podcasts all have a consistent format. But if I wanted to use this transition, I just drag it over into the audio file. And then if I wanted to change the order, I can just um, manually move them that way. Um, once you are done, you can hit save episode. And I'd like for you to save it with your last name on it so I know um, whose is whose. And then if you want to delete anything from here, you can just click the three buttons on the right hand side and say remove from the episode. One other thing um, that I would like to note is that when you record an audio file, it will um, save into your library. I haven't saved mine yet, which is why it's not there. And so it is really helpful if you save it with your last name because the whole class will be using the same site and it's easier to find it, obviously, if it's named. And in order to do that, it'll automatically default with the date. If you click on the little pencil right next to it, you'll be able to save it with the title of your choice. Um, and that is it. So it's pretty easy to use. I hope you find it relatively intuitive. And if you have any questions, as always, please let me know.